Oh, so I wanted to make a video response in regards to a Divinity's video here. I have to say I was rather upset with her for a while, but uh, that's neither here nor there, and I'm over it, so so be it. Now, in her video, she talks in regards to what makes one a racist in relation to if one does not date or sleep with one outside of their race, does this necessarily then imply that they are, in fact, a racist? And also, if one does date or sleep with someone outside their race, does that necessarily then imply that they are not a racist? Some very interesting questions. Now, I said in the comments section, and I, I wholeheartedly believe this, that if I were to say these things that she were saying in her videos in regards to the race thing, the, the uh, sexuality, the homosexuality stuff, I'm not talking about here in this video, just the re aspect of the race stuff. If I were to say these same things as a white man, especially here on YouTube, I would most certainly be labeled a racist. So I, I, I guess it takes a, a female minority <laughs> to open the door to, to, uh, to logic and reason. Hmm. What do you know? Well, anyways. <laughs> so she poses a question then. Or she makes a measure of what? What? What is the measure of a racist? Right? She believes that one, one way to do this is that we can look for the reaction, or you know, l judge by the reaction of a, a parent, of a daughter, that if the daughter were to date outside their race, and judging by the parent's reaction, we could see then, well, that perhaps then is a a measure of their racism. Now, of course, let's never forget, folks, we're dealing with an ism here, especially a something as scaled down as race, racism, and who who says what belongs in there where? Well, mm, that's, that's a sketchy area, right? Who's the authority on that? I don't know. Who would you go to for that? Who, de who decides what fits into this ism? Uh, I suppose you can go start with some of the philosophers. I might be a good place to start, but that's just my opinion. Now, we take this measure, you know me, I like to take this, take this principle, right, this criterion we're setting up, and I like to challenge those notions, right? See if we apply that principle consistently, not in this, only in this area, but throughout other areas as well. So staying within race and uh, dating and sleeping with, let's move that outside a bit from that and say, how about living amongst right let's say you prefer to live amongst people of your own race does that then make you a racist or if you do live amongst a mixed race area does that necessarily make you not a racist right we can apply these same questions to these other areas how about working with right you get these an availability of jobs I know that's a ridiculous notion today but <laughs> let's say a wide array of jobs you can go work at and there's one place that's cons that well, uh, has many employees uh, of your race then and one that doesn't and every other thing is the same if you choose the one that is you prefer same questions apply now let's push that notion that principle that standard that criterion whatever we push that notion out to other isms how about classism how about that one so let's say you live in a household and your household income is um, 150000 a year. And your daughter is dating that bad boy across the tracks there. And their family household income is 20000 a year. Well, let's say you defy your daughter in this way. and Does this then make you a classist? Right? Uh, let's... And the other same questions apply, can apply to that too. Where you choose to live. Who you choose to work with, where you choose to work, who you choose to hire. Hmm, yes. How about ageism? Are you an ageist if you have a 20 year old daughter and she likes to date older men, twice her age, 40 year olds, and you defy her in that? Are you an ageist? Same thing. Who you go to work with? Who you hire, uh, who you live around, who you party with, whatever, right? Apply this principles all over the place and see what comes out the other end. Challenge it, push the envelope, I say.
Now, throughout listening to her video, I was also reminded of a couple of stories, like, that I ran into uh, back during some of the race thing and even before that. I was reminded of one guy. He was, like, 50-something years old, a professor here in the U.S., lived his whole life in the U.S. as a black man and found out late in life, during his 50s or something like that, that genetically he was not African, but believed his whole life that he was. He grew up in the U.S.A. as a black man. And he had a brother as well. And he had a white Jewish wife, I believe. And he wasn't Jewish. Um, he talked about this in a bit in an article. And hopefully I can find the video of him and, or, and the article again. You can read this for yourself. I'm just going to go off memory here. But looking at the reaction, he talked about his brother when he told his brother. And his brother was, like, angry. And said no no i am a black man it's very interesting it's reading about that it didn't matter if he didn't have any african in him. he was still a black man because he grew up in america as a black man and his wife was also like indignant she said something to the effect while well, he was quoting her and i'm just going off memory here he, he, she, he said something to the effect that she said she, she said something to the effect of, oh, this can't be or something. I married you in defiance of my parents. Now, that's interesting because it's often told to us by uh, when we think of the how the Jews are very, uh, very touchy, to say the least, about marrying outside their religion. Uh, I'll leave a video about that one group that goes and hunts down the Jewish girls to make sure they're not dating those Arab boys. Yes, yeah, over there in Israel. Hmm. Imagine having something like that here in America, huh? Well, anyways, um, it's very interesting. We're often told, oh, it has nothing to do with race, but then here we are dealing with the fact that this man is not African, and she says that, and that it's not in relation to his not being Jewish. Very interesting. And I was also reminded of... There's a, uh, there's, a, there's a recording here on YouTube of a phone call between a Jewish father and his... A Jewish uh, daughter and how he reacts in regards to her dating outside of her religion I believe it was but well I can't remember it was so long ago but hopefully I can find a link to that as well so alright I think I'll be done talking then for now oh, my personal preference I wasn't going to talk about because I like to leave those of those of those those kinds of people who like to point fingers and things and put you know those people I like to leave them in the dark let them figure it out on their own. <laughs> Peace out, my brothers, sisters, and everyone in between.